Hello sir, pwede pong pa-share nung link. Uh, yun, pinost ko na po yung link kanina pa po, 4 hours ago. Tapos pinost ko ulit kanina-kanina lang. Pero nakalagay din po dito, view stream on YouTube. Nakalagay live on YouTube. Hello sir, pwede pong pa-share nung link. Uh, yun, pinost ko na po yung link kanina pa po, 4 hours ago. Tapos pinost ko ulit kanina-kanina lang. Meron na po, sir. Okay na po, sir. Nakuha na po. Okay, live on YouTube. Hello, sir. Pwede pong pa-share nung link. Uh, yun, pinost ko na po yung link kanina pa po, 4 hours ago. Tapos pinost ko ulit kanina-kanina lang. Meron na po, sir. Okay na po, sir. Nakuha na po. Okay, live on YouTube. Yung monitor, mukhang nag uh, babound siya. Okay na po, sir. Nakuha na po. Okay, live. Sige po. Uh, start na po tayo. Okay po, Sir Villamiel. Ryan. Okay, sir. So, start na po tayo ng ating program. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the virtual culmination of what we have been through from November 29 up to this day. Later, we will have our presentation on the different cultural heritage of the province of Marinduque and the province of Quezon as part of the delivery reports for our course. On that note, let us begin our program. Please stand for the virtual singing of the national anthem with audio to be operated by Ms. Michi Grace Valdez. ang awit ng Pilipinas.
Please remain standing and feel the presence of our Lord in an invocation to be led by Miss Jessa E. Odonio. Let's bow our head. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Almighty and loving Father, Creator of heaven and earth, we praise you and adore you. You are the King of kings. We humbly ask your forgiveness for our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. We are gathered here today for our presentation. Send us your Holy Spirit to be our guide and give us the wisdom to understand every topic that we are going to discuss. Enlighten our minds and let your love be upon us. May this presentation bring success and growth to our team. We thank you, Father, for this precious time that you have given us. All this we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one for God for a forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. So everybody may now take their seats and stay on your place of comfort. So once again, it is a blessful day as we are able to get together despite the constraints and limitations that the pandemic have caused. The barrier of communication, other activities in the recent weeks may have greatly affected us, but still, we are able to surpass and emerge from the challenges. As we begin, formally our culminating activity. May we call on Ms. Ma Cecil Itarusan for her opening remarks. Thank you, Ms. Ryan, our Master of Ceremony. Good day, everyone. It is my honor and privilege to give my virtual welcome remarks in this significant event, the presentation of widely known and acknowledge distinctive excellence heritage icon in the specific upland and lowland towns of Marinduque province, as well as in the province of Quezon, which is divided into four congressional districts in a picha Pucha style. This remote presentation served as the culminating activity of the course EDM01, Foreign Language, under Dr. Randy Pino Blesa as course professor. Also, I would like to appreciate the presence in a virtual form of our guests and visitors. And of course, to our Dean of Marinduque State College, MSC, Kisonian Educational College Incorporated, QECI, School of Graduate Education and Professional Studies, SGEPS, Dr. Rizali M. Lim. To the Dean of MSc, SGEPS, an extension program, and Quezon, HEIS, Dr. Leo DeGuardo M. Halos Jr., and to our course professor, Dr. Randy P. Noblesa, and to all the MAED and EDD students of the course. On behalf of the graduate students from the MAID program and EDD, we welcome you to this event and may the presentation find a place in your heart, hoping that the results will give us proof of the diversity and creativity heritage of Marinduque and Quezon province, despite of the health crisis we are experiencing today. With that, I thank you and once again, good day. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Tarusan. And to rekindle our mind and spirit as we go through. 
let's give the platform to Marinduque State College, Quezonian Educational College Incorporated, Studies of Graduate Education and Professional Studies Dean, Resali M. Lim, Doctor of Education. May we call on Dean Risa Lili for her message. Sir Randy, I think Ma'am Lim is not yet around. Okay, we'll make room for Dr. Lim a bit later when whenever she is ready. Can we move on to the next part of the program? Okay, move, moving on to the next part of the program. And so to keep the fire burning, warm our hearts and souls, and further arouse our motivation in the search for higher learning, an inspirational message will be delivered to us by the Dean of Marinduque State College, Studies of Graduate Education and Professional Studies and Extension Program in Quezon Higher Education Institution, none other than Dr. Yudigario M. Halos, Jr. Sir, may we call on Dr. Halos? Is Dr. Lim uh, with the same room with Dr. Halos or are they somewhere else? Okay. So, okay, let us proceed. So at this juncture, let us welcome with appreciation for lending us their precious time, our invited guests and validators as they are presented by Mr. Ronan Kirby P. Soyan. Uh, thank you very much to the ma Master of Ceremony, Sir Ryan Villamil. Uh, First of all, I would like to greet a happy morning, of course, to our course professor, Dr. Randy T. Nobleza. Good morning, sir. To the Dean of School of Graduate Education and Professional Studies and the Extension Program in uh, Higher Education Institute. Dr. Leo Degario M. Halos Jr. to our very own, the Dean of uh, QECI, um, School of Graduate Education and Professional Studies, Dr. Riza Lee M. Lim, to my uh, fellow students, to our guests, good morning. So this is my privilege to introduce our uh, invited guests. Um, and later on, we'll uh, give uh, commendations on our work. Let me start with uh, introducing our first guest. He is a member of Tagkawayan Arts Guild Pelikula Kapatiran, a co-founder of Tagkawayan Lagalag, and Kawai Tagkawayan Municipal Tourism Council PIO External, a secondary school teacher one of San Isidro Integrated School. Let us give our virtual hands to Mr. Shoji R. Sasahara. Good morning, sir, Shoji. Thank you very much. And now let me present to you and introduce you our second guest. She is a member of Lingap Quezon. It is an Araling Panlipunan professional group in the division of Quezon. She finished her master's degree at Polytechnic University of the Philippines 
Lopez Branch on May 2016. A secondary school teacher three of Malinao Ilaya National High School at Timonan Quezon. Friends, classmates, let us give a warm welcome through virtual club to Mrs. Rochelle and Aureliana. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Kirby. And now this is it for our feature presentation, the highlight of all our activities, the Pecha Pucha presentation. And the order of presentation for today is the following. First, we have the first district of Quezon or group one. Second, the Marinduki group from Lowland. Third, we have the second district of Quezon or group two. Fourth, the third district of Quezon or group three. Fifth, is the Marinduki group from Upland. And lastly, the presentation of the fourth district of Quezon or group four. So let us begin. Wala nga po, sir. So, PowerPoint uh, slides, pero wala pang... Audio, wala bang from Group 1 na mag-present nito? O si Sir Dennis na.
Malibu na ako. Please, a little bit. Maglag ka? Ang hira. Okay po. Tapos na po ba? Kung okay na po, let's proceed po to the next. Okay, sir, so Ayan. Okay, sir Gian, the next presentation will be coming from the Marinduki Group of Lowland. Okay, take the screen. Marinduki Group.
Okay, the EDD group of Marine Duque. All right po, so good morning po. Mukhang uh, may technical problem po, po sa EDD group. So we'll skip po muna with them. And I am uh, Mark Christopher Roy P. Montemayor po, MPA student. And at the same time po, I'm from Lowland po ng, ng Marinduque po. And I will be presenting po one of the three Pecha Kucha slides I represent po ng uh, Lowland Marinduque, combination po ito ng MPA and MAED students. Montemayor, and I'm here today to talk about a heritage icon, which is the Pinaglabanan, the site of Battle of Libas in the town of Buena Vista, province of Marinduque. As teachers, scholars, we want to ensure the preservation of the country's tangible I would like to talk about the history of Buena Vista, the Japanese occupation, Libas Ambush, Pinaglabanan, Battle of Marinduque, and Pablo Pes Bodega. I know as a teacher and public administrator, you will appreciate that in order to help communities recognize, celebrate, and support cultural diversity for economic, social, and regional development. It is reported that the late novelist Michael Kirchton said, if you don't know history, then you don't know anything. You're a leaf that doesn't know it's part of a tree. History teaches us not only about the leaves of life, it teaches us about twigs, branches, trunks, and roots of life. In the province of Marinduque, Philippines, Buena Vista, officially the municipality of Buena Vista, Tagalog, Bayan ng Buena Vista is a fourth class municipality. It is a population of 23,988 people according to the 2015 census. Due to its good view, the town was named Buena Vista by Don Cornelio Salim. Its former name was Sabang, which is the river that runs through it. The majority of Buena Vistans trace the family of Don Cornelio Sadiwa to their ancestry. When they were just exploring the island of Marinduque, the Spanish used to call Buena Vista Sabang. They marveled at the beauty of the sea, good view or Buena Vista in Spanish, and the magnificent alignment of the three islands they called Isla de los Tres Reyes, islands of the three kings, Melchor, Gaspar, and Baltazar. When foreigners set foot on the Buena Vista coast, the two words Buena Vista were therefore combined and became Buena Vista, which to this day remains a very beautiful town. The Japanese Imperial forces landed at Patay in Buena Vista in 1942 before making their way to the capital. Buena Vista was the headquarters for the resistance movement because of its rugged territory, relative isolation, and fierce pro-American sentiment. Within the borders, Japanese forces and the resistance and guerrillas often in skirmishes. The school and municipal building were burned by invading Japanese forces, consisting of a member of each Buena Vista family after holding prisoners. Eventually, rebel forces recaptured the town. The Dibas ambush known locally as Pinaglabanan was a joint guerrilla resistance effort in which a Japanese soldier's troop was ambushed and killed by Filipino guerrillas and Buena Vistans. The Japanese commander then issued a declaration that 10 Filipinos would die within a five-mile radius for every one Japanese soldier killed by the Filipinos in Buena Vista. Little is known of this Japanese period war in Tagatpat, Barangay Libas, a spacious pasture land. Buena Vista was besieged by Japanese foreigners in 1944. An unforgettable event was witnessed by the guerrillas on August 29, 1944. The clash took place in what they called Pinaglabanan. The guerrillas allowed the Japanese to enter their trap and at the same time fired bullets at the enemy. When the Japanese entered the trap, the guerrillas fired shots. Eleven were killed, but the leader ran and entered a house. A sniper pointed at the confused Japanese leader. The leader was also killed, so 12 Japanese were all killed. The clothes and guns of the slain Japanese were confiscated. 
the Japanese soldiers were picked up and buried in a pit. History will always shape. Sir, hindi raw po nagmo-move yung slides. Oo, oh, tama. Yun lang uh, first na slide. So, okay. ini-screen share mo lang ano man. Ano. Hindi ka hindi ka nagpa-PowerPoint na naka-timed. So, yung video ang piniplay mo. Opo. Okay. Ipo try ko po. Uh, try mo lang uli. 6 minutes lang naman at 40 seconds. So, ganun talaga. Pag live, eh, meron mga glitch. So, ang mahalaga dito, eh, yun application sa, sa susunod. So, yung pinupoint out natin, lalabas to sa proceedings at yung documentation ay ganun din. Good day. My name is Mark Christopher I. P. Montemayor and I'm here today to talk about a heritage. Good day. My name is Mark. Good day, my name is Mark Christopher I.P. Montemayor and I'm here today to talk about a heritage icon which is the Pinaglabanan, the site of Battle of Libas in the town of Buena Vista, province of Marinduque. As teachers, future public administrators, and GTC teacher scholars, we want to ensure the preservation of the country's intangible and tangible cultural assets. Once again, my name is Mark. I am a licensed professional teacher, and now I am teaching at Kaigangan Elementary School. I'm a teacher, and I've always been a teacher. Education runs in my blood. Somehow, I made it into public administration, which is great because I can see both sides. Today, I would like to talk about the history of Buena Vista, the Japanese occupation, Libas Ambush, Pinaglabanan, Battle of Marinduque, and Pablo Pes Podega. I know as a teacher and public administrator, you will appreciate that in order to help communities recognize, celebrate, and support cultural diversity for economic, social, and regional development. It is reported that the late novelist Michael Crichton said, if you don't know history, then you don't know anything. You're a leaf that doesn't know it's part of a tree. History teaches us not only about the leaves of life, it teaches us about twigs, branches, trunks, and roots of life. In the province of Marinduque, Philippines, Buena Vista, officially the municipality of Buena Vista, Tagalog, Bayan ng Buena Vista is a fourth class municipality. It is a population of 23,988 people according to the 2015 census. Due to its good view, the town was named Buena Vista by Don Cornelio Salim. Its former name was Sabang, which is the river that runs through it. The majority of Buena Vistans trace the family of Don Cornelio Sadiwa to their ancestry. When they were just exploring the island of Marinduque, the Spanish used to call Buena Vista Sabang. They marveled at the beauty of the sea, good view or Buena Vista in Spanish, and the magnificent alignment of the three islands they called Isla de los Tres Reyes. Islands of the Three Kings, Melchor, Gaspar, and Baltazar, when foreigners set foot on the Buena Vista coast. The two words Buena Vista were therefore combined and became Buena Vista, which to this day remains a very beautiful town. The Japanese imperial forces landed at Patay Dilog in Buena Vista in 1942 before making their way to the capital. Buena Vista was the headquarters for the resistance movement because of its rugged terrain, relative isolation, and fierce pro-American sentiment. Within the borders, Japanese forces and the resistance and guerrillas often engaged in skirmishes. The school and municipal building were burned by invading Japanese forces, consisting of a member of each Buena Vista family after holding prisoners. Eventually, rebel forces recaptured the town. The device ambush known locally as Pinaglabanan was a joint guerrilla Buena Vista effort in which a Japanese soldier's troop was ambushed and killed by Filipino guerrillas and Buena Vistans. 
the Japanese commander then issued a declaration that 10 Filipinos would die within a five mile radius for every one Japanese soldier killed by the Filipinos in Buena Vista. Little is known of this Japanese period war in Pagatpat, Barangay Libas, a spacious pasture land. Buena Vista was besieged by Japanese foreigners in 1944. An unforgettable event was witnessed by the guerrillas on August 29, 1944. The clash took place in what they called Pinaglaban. The guerrillas allowed the Japanese to enter their trap and at the same time fired bullets at the enemy. When the Japanese entered the trap, the guerrillas fired shots. Eleven were killed, but the leader ran and entered a house. A sniper pointed at the confused Japanese leader. The leader was also killed, so 12 Japanese were all killed. The clothes and guns of the slain Japanese were confiscated. The Japanese soldiers were picked up and buried in a pit. History will always shape the present. Photos of articles kept by the local government unit. The Bonavistans continued their fight against Japanese occupation after the war, including saving and hiding many of the combined Filipino and American military personnel throughout the war in spite of the Japanese attacks. One such rescue happened shortly after the fall of Bataan, when an American seaman was discovered hidden among the shoreline rocks by the lighthouse keeper. The Bonavistans dressed, fed, and concealed these rescued Filipinos and Americans, even though if the Japanese found out about it, they risked execution. In 1945 at Kaigangan Beach in Buena Vista, the United U.S. and Allied Philippine Commonwealth Armed Forces landed and attacked the Battle of Marinduque by the Japanese Imperial Forces. The first major offensive fought after the Battle of Marinduque was the Buena Vista Campaign a bloody firefight between the Japanese and a joint allied Filipino guerrilla offensive resulted in it. The Japanese who were located in the municipal building and elementary school were defeated soundly. Buena Vista was selected as the headquarters of the Philippine Commonwealth Army's 5th Infantry Division and the U.S. due to their record of anti-Japanese acts during the war, the Army Signal Corps. The U.S. Army Signal Corps and the Philippine Commonwealth Army's 5th Infantry Division were housed in the towns of Pablo P. Bodega. Pablo P. Bodega located on Don Cornelio Street next to the Pe House. During the liberation, this modest structure served as the headquarters of the United States Army Signal Corps. That ends my talk about Pinaglabanan, Barangay Libas, Buena Vista, Marinduque. Thank you for listening. Good day, my name is Mark Christopher I.P. Montemayor, and I'm here today. All right, po, so that ends my... Uh, Pecha Kucha presentation po, and that is just one of the three Pecha Kucha slides that we, uh, our group is going to present. So um, the next presenter po from our group will be uh, the Pecha Kucha po of Servines. Okay po, so Ryan, next na po ang Quezon ulit. Okay, so moving on, we will now have the group of the second district of Quezon or group two. In second district na po.
Okay, the presentation of group two. Group two from Quezon Province. Wait lang po, papasok na po ata ulit. Sino po yung kasunod na magpipresent? Paki-open na po yung slides nyo para isi-share screen na lang. Oo nga. Sinabi ko na po, sir. Uh, Dere-diretso tayo. Kasi hindi tayo nag-start ng oras. So hindi tayo matatapos sa oras. Okay po, Sir Ryan, kung sila yung nagkakaroon ng technical problem. Uh, wait lang daw po. Nandiyan na daw po. Wait lang daw po. Sige lang po. Para hindi kasama sa programa niya yung intermission, meron bang intermission pag itong break? Mamichi, mag-proceed ka po muna ng isang presentation para sa intermission. Kung meron lang naman, pero kung wala, eh okay lang. Siyempre, mas mahalaga yung mga pecha kutsa presentation. Oh, sige, kung ready na po yung isang group, paki-share na lang yung screen. Okay po, from Sir Ryan okay. ang magpapresent okay, daw so po. Okay, so we will skip the second district of Quezon for technical difficulties. So we'll give way for the Marinduque group, MSC Upland. So for the remaining group, please prepare your presentation to check for the technical difficulties. Thank you. Para nag-over-overlap na po kayo. So meron po nag... Open nyo po muna yun slide. Tsaka po kayo mag-share screen. Kasi nakikita po namin lahat. Yun inyong uh, file. Yun inyong mga folder. Hilo na po ang inyong MC kung sino po ba talaga ang magpo-proceed. Hello, hello. Sound check. Okay, naririnig po. 
Naririnig po pero iba po nakikita natin na screen. Okay. Good morning. This is the collaborative output of EDD students in the Lowland. Next. 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 Mugpog Central School. Paki-stop share po muna, Mr. Amante. Tapos yung pong, open yung pong yung file. Tsaka nyo po i-share. May nakashare daw dyan iba. Oo. Pinir yun niya. Paki-mute po. Naririg po namin yun yung ano. Uh, sir William uh, William Mel. Yes, sir. Uh, can you recap the the program so there would be order please okay so the first okay the first one to present and they already presented their pichacocha is the first district of Quezon it was followed by the Marinduque group from lowland but they okay. were being uh skipped sir because uh we give way for 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 the work of uh, Mr. Montemayor, is that correct, sir? And then this, this should be the third group, the second district of Quezon. But then we we again skip them for another group of Mr. Amante. Okay. For for the succeeding groups, can you please open your slides before sharing the screen and just make sure that uh, you take care of the technical issues before you proceed because this is live we can no longer edit this okay po sir so kung ganun po sir mag proceed na po tayo siguro sa ibang group kung ready na po So I thought uh, there are just four groups from uh, Quezon and only four groups from Marinduque and there would be alternating. So nauna na yun, uh, Quezon first district tapos meron na skip na group sa Marinduque, nag-proceed sa ibang group. Then we move to the second district of Quezon as bumalik po sa Marinduque. So ano po ba talaga? Sir, based on the program that I received, there are only two groups from Marinduque, the Lowland and the Upland, composed of MAED and EDD. Noted. So can we proceed now to the next uh, presentation so we can uh, save time? Okay, if we are going to follow the program, this time should be the second district of Quezon. So have you prepared and ready your materials? Anybody po from the second district of Quezon? Uh, Sir, please read the, the chat box. Please read the chat box so that you can recognize the, the next group. And Sir, the Marinduque group is ready for another presentation. Hello po, good morning. Uh, Sir Andy, ready yes, na po ang can, uh, EDD group? We can hear you but we cannot see your slides. Okay po, sige. So is your group, uh, I assume, is different from Mr. Madriaga's group who is volunteering to present? Yes, sir. 
Different group or the same group? ADD group, sir. Good morning. This is the collaborative output of ADD students of Marinduque State College, Upland and Lowland. Okay po, please proceed. Mugpog Central School is situated in Bayan. On the east are residential houses of Dulog Bayan. And on the northern portion, very close to our school, are residential houses. Walking westward across the street, you will see the Marinduque Academy main building, the municipal building, the courthouse on the west, the annex building of the Marinduque Academy. This school is strategically located. Thus, the pupils coming from the ninth barangays, Danao, Mataas na Bayan, Dulong Bayan, Villa Mendes, Gitang Bayan, Nang Kauno, Market Site, Anapog, Sibukaw, and Kandahon. Next, uh, 20 seconds. And now for the World Heritage, we have the Paris of Santo Nino de Benavista, Barangay Dos Benavista, Marinduque, founded January 19, 1913. We have the Hamilton Residence, built during Japanese era, owner Rosario Solo Catamio, Barangay Dos Buena Vista, Marinduque. We have the Santo Neño de Buena Vista, Patrón of FIFI, Buena Vista, with the uh, uh, records keep Master list of baptismal records, 1938 to 1990 from Benavista, the Bicas Elementary School, founded February 17, 1957. And uh, we have the historic and prominent members of the from Benavista, the PNP chief from 1994 to 1997, the known Ricardo A. Sarmiento II. Products came from uh, the lowland and upland area. We have the coco sugar by Sikap and the Bagoong from uh, Benavista Bagoong Producer Multipurpose Cooperative. Located at uh, City School Tabarangay Libas, Benavista, Marinduque. lipunan o espiritual na kabuluhan. Ang awiting puting sa ay simbolo ng mayamang 
kultura ng mga marindukenyo bagamat payak ang pamum Uh, so sorry, the connection is poor, so they got disconnected. Mr. Ryan. Okay, so as we proceed, can we go back to the second district of Quezon and please uh, update me if the Marinduque group is divided into four, if that is the Upland, EDD group, and Maed group, and lowland EDD and MAED group. MAED is different group from EDD. Is that correct? So there are four groups as well. So there are upland and lowland groups combined in EDD and there are two separate groups from uh, Maed and MPA that there are also upland and lowland. Ah, okay, sir. So there are three other groups, at least. I thought there were four, but it seems like there are only three. So the so EDD... Sir, the three groups are... So three groups. So one group for EDD... Lowland, uh, Maed and MPA Lowland, yeah. and sir, the other one is Maed and MPA Upland. Okay, so whenever you're ready, please proceed. Sir, mag-call ka na po kung sino. Uh, si yeah, Sir Madriaga, are you ready with your slides? Your group slide? Yes, sir. Ready na po. Oh, please share your screen so you may begin. All right, sir. So, uh, uh, so just allow... Uh, All right. So, can you see our screen po? Yes, po. All right. Thank you, po. Okay. <clears throat> so, konnichiwa. My name is Vince Justin Ron S. Madriaga. And I am the, the same. Hello, po. At malugod po namin ipinipresent ang napili naming heritage icon na nagmula sa ating mahal na probinsya ng Marinduque. Bilang ang Marinduque ay tinaguri ang Lenten Mecca ng Pilipinas dahil sa taglay na, na pinagyamang pangkultura at paniniwalang panreligyon. Yan, tama yan, Ma'am Des. At ang probinsya ng Marinduque ay binubuo ng anim na bayan. At isa na dito ay ang bayan ng Buak. Ang bayan ng Buak ang kapital ng uh, Marinduque. Ngunit maliban dito, kilala rin ang bayan ng Buak bilang isang bayan na pakayaman sa kultura at tradisyon. Kaya naman ngayong araw, um, hayaan niyo po kami ipresenta ang isa sa heritage item ng Buak na amin pong um, napili na Nuestra Señora de la Asuncion o mas kilala sa tawag na Inang Uyang. Tama ka, Sir Beans. So, sino nga ba si Our Lady of Assumption sa ating buhay? So, uh, for official name, uh, siya po ay um, Our Lady of Assumptions or mas kilala sa tawag na Inang Uyang. So, it is currently situated po uh, in East of Juan, Buak Marinduque and uh, classified as an Antique or Antigo. So, uh, kung pagbabasihan naman po natin ang pisikalidad ng imahe, so siya po ay may kabuang anim na talampakan uh, na taas. Sa main image po ito ay merong apat na talampakan at gawa o yari po ito sa matibay na uh, kahoy. So, kung mapapansin nyo po, may base po dito. So, um, ang taas po niya ay two feet at ito po ay yari sa simento. So, prominent colors naman po niya ay uh, blue and white. Uh, sa white po, it symbolizes purity or kalinisa ng imahe. At yung blue naman po ay it symbolizes yung immaculate or uh, sa Tagalog po ay ito po ay uh, sumisimbolo ng 
uh, pinaglihi ng walang uh, bahid. So kung mapapansin niyo po, ang, ang hair po niya is black at hanggang bewang po yung kanyang um, buho. And yung posture niya po is as being assumed into heaven. So um, ito po ay, um, kung mapapansin niyo po, siya po ay um, masayang nakatingin sa langit habang iniaakyat sa langit ng mga anghel sa kanyang paanan. So base po sa aming uh, na-interview ay um, yung kanang kamay, kaya daw po mas mataas yung kanang kamay ay dahil daw po ay uh, ito po ay sumisimbolo na isa po siya sa kanang kamay ng Diyos anak. So uh, dumako naman po uh, tayo sa uh, kasaysayan or history ng imahe. So um, siya po ay o oh, si Binibining Julia Hidalgo ima anyo po Uh, nakilala at galing sa isang promen- prominenteng pamilya sa buwak ang kauna-unahang nagpagawa at nagdala nitong imahen sa Marinduque noong 1928 mula pa sa Quiapo, Manila. Siya ang kauna-unahang rekamadera o tagapag-alaga ng imahen ng buong, at buong buhay niya itong uh, pinaglingkuran hanggang sa kanyang kamatayan. Ang alarawan po na ito ay katangi-tangi niyang alaala. So pagkatapos po ng kanyang kamatayan, ang ito po ay nailipat sa isang samahan na tinatawag na Contradia de Nuestra Señora de Asuncion. So sino po ang umukit ng imahe? So ito pong um, lalawa na ito ay siya po ay si Maximo Vicente Sr. or kilala bilang Santinero or Saint Maker in the Philippines sa panahon ng 1900s. Yan. So maraming salamat, Ma'am Dezan. Ngayon, dumako naman po tayo sa kapistahan ng imahen, ano ng Our Lady of Assumption ng Buwak, or mas kilala sa tawag na Inang Uyang. So makita po, ang, kapista, ang, pit, ang petsa po ng um, kapistahan ng Inang Uyang ay August 15. Ang mga litrato pong nakalagay dito ay noong um, August 15, 1956 nakuha. So napakatagal na panahon na po. Ano? So kung ating po makita dito sa, dito sa bandang ka, um, kaliwa, napakarami pong... Um, tao sa Buwa Katedral. Ano, ito po ay lahat de- ay devoto ng ni Inang ni Uyang, ano po, ni Our Lady of Assumption. At sa according po to, uh, from our interviewees, um, hindi lamang po ito mga Marindukanons. Ano, uh, meron din po dito mula sa Mar- Mindoro at sa Quezon. So, dyan po natin makita na talagang talamak o napakalaki ng sakop ng um, devotion kay Inang Uyang or Our Lady of Assumption. Ngayon, dumako naman po tayo sa one of the oldest photos and pamphlets para kay um, um, Our Lady of Assumption. So, according po dun sa pinagkuha namin nito, which is, who is si, uh, who is uh, Mr. Arwin Epa, ito daw po yung pinakalumang um, stampita na meron. Ano? So, ito po yung ginawa noong 1991. Um, so, kung ating makapansin, um, uh, Kitang-kita po yung uh, bahid ng kanyang katandaan sa uh, gamit pa lamang po ng uh, mga salita dahil may bahid pa po ito ng Espanyol. Ano? So La Asuncion de Nuestra Señora pertains to Our Lady of Assumption. At dun po sa maikling dasal dito yung Astros ang hiya sa damit ay meron din pong uh, mga Spanish words. Ano? Tapos let's focus po dito sa date na nakalagay, December 8, 1991. Bakit December 8 ay August 15 ang pista? Ano? So... Ang dahilan po diyan ay nalito po yung gumagawa ng pamphlet na akala niya ito yung main uh, ito po yung patrona ng buwak ng ng simbahan ng buwak ano whereas ang uh, we in fact ang totoong pong um, patrona ng buwak ay ang Immaculada Conception or Our Lady of Immaculate Conception. So bakit bakit nalito dahil nga po sa sobrang actually po pag nagpepiesta itong si Inang Uyang, sobrang dami na ang talaga dumadating halos para alam mo po yung parang pista ng pinakang main patrona ng bayan. So ganun siya ka ano, kumaka po in short ay kumapangalawa siya sa main patron ng um, buwak. Ayan. So ngayon, bakit nga ba tinatawag na Inang Uyang si Si Mama Mary na iniakyat sa langit, si Our Lady of Assumption. Okay, so meron pa meron po tayo itong lumang uh, litrato ni Inang Uyang or ni Our Lady of Assumption. Then kagaya nga po ng sabi ni Ma'am Desan kanina, ito po yung katangitang litrato lamang po na meron si Inang Uyang. Ito po yung patay na po siya, ano? And then ito po yung medyo recent na um, uh, picture po ni uh, Our Lady of Assumption. So bakit nga ba natatawag siya na Inang Uyang itong si Mama Mary? Um, una po da, una pong dapat nating malaman ay si Inang Uyang ang rekamadera 
o ang kamarera o yung caretaker o nagmamayari at nagpagawa sa imaheng ito ni Mama Mary. Ano? At um, uh, kasabay po ng kanyang pag-aalaga ay yung kanyang masidhing debusyon sa Mama Mary at uh, siya rin po yung nagbuo ng Confradia de la Nuestra Asuncion po. Ano? So, um, sa bu- nung siya po'y nabubuhay pa, through this image, nagawa niya pong palaganapin ang pamimintuho kay, uh, sa Mahal na Birhing Maria. At kasabay po ng pamimintuho yun ay marami pong sabi-sabi na siya po'y, makasam- siya po'y may mga nagawang milagro. Ano? Katulad na siya daw po ay nasa kay sa palapa lamang o yung dahon po ng niyog. Ano? So, uh, sa sorry siya to sa palapa. interrupt po. May time limit po. Next na po. Okay po. Sige po, Thank sige you. po. Alright, so Patriano. let's now uh, Sige po. So dumako na tayo sa significance. Ano? So um may dalawang significance po kami sinetito which is yung first ay yung historical. So ang historical significance po ng imaheng ito ay dahil po ito ay nung 1928 pa nagawa at ngayon po ay 2020 na halos 100 years po na siya existent na sa Marinduque. Kalaki po na yun ay yung um yung uh, yung mga experiences at mga pangyayari within those almost 100 years dito sa Marinduque. Aside from that, ginawa rin siya ng Maximo Vicente Senior, na isang prominenteng talagang iskulto na kilala noong 1900s. Ano? So, um, na-preserve yung kanyang artistry na hindi na kaya gawin ng kanyang mga kaanak ayon sa isang artikel na nabasa namin dahil ganun po kaganda yung kanyang artistry. So, um, napakaganda po na um, na-preserve po natin yung through this image. And now, second is spiritual significance. So hindi kailan na dahil ito ay religious object, um, religious object, hindi kailan na ito ay simbolo ng um, pananampalataya, ng debosyon at ng pag-asa sa, para sa maraming tao. Ngunit higit sa lahat, um, ito po ay matibay na alaala ng isang babae na kung saan sa bayan ng buwak ay nagkaroon ng napalaking, napakalaking kontribusyon sa pagmamahal, pagbibigay sa kapwa, pagtulong sa simbahan at malalim na debosyon sa mahal na biling mariyang iniakyat sa langit. Ang babaeng ito ay walang iba kundi si Julia Hidalgo Imaanyo o mas kilala sa dangang inang uya. So maraming salamat po. Arigato, gusayimas. Muli ako po si Vince Justin Madriaga. At ako po naman si Dasan M. Halothot. At andito po yung aming email address in case may questions po kayong clarifications. Maraming salamat, salamat po muli at magandang, magandang araw. araw. Okay, thank you for the presentation from Marinduque Group. And now let us proceed or can we go back to the District 2 of the Province of Quezon. Ma'am and Sir, are you ready with your slide or presentation? Yes po. Okay, so... Take the screen and share your presentation. Thank you. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon to all of us. This is the presentation of Maed 2 group assigned in Quezon 2nd District consisting of six towns such as Lucena City, San Antonio, Sariaya, Dolores, Taong, and Candelaria. We are 10 members in the groups. Ferdinand Arpeneda and Dewey and Doc Tolero assigned in San Antonio. Catherine Morphe, Lucena City, Nestle Amores, Sariaya, Ramel Kuhn, Leo Bilia, Dolores, Tristel Nueva, and Ramjay Uri, Candelaria, Mary Jane N. A. Villarreal, and Maria Crisanta Chaong. We believe in saying, talk less, show more. Keep learning, enjoy watching. Pwede ko na dito.
Uh, please proceed to the next presentation. Okay, Sir William Mel. Okay, okay. Thank you for the group of Second District of Quezon. Now let's go back or move to the another group of MSC Maed Lowland. Hello, good morning, everyone. Can everybody hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Yes, yeah, once again, um, hi, everyone. My name is Iris Gutierrez, and together with my partner, Mr. John Marlinga, we will be presenting to you guys our Pecha Kucha about Morion Mass Curving. So let's proceed. Taglish na lang po. Live kasi. So, ano nga ba makikita natin ba pagka dating natin sa Marinduque? So, our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage is the statue of Lady of the Peace and Good Voyage. We welcome you guys once you arrive at Balanacan Port in Magpo. It's on your left side when you disembark the ship travel of almost three hours from the Lahican Port, Lucena City. Um, Mugpog. Mugpog is the coastal municipality in island province of Marinduque with a land area of 108.6 population of 36,000 and 8,000 households. One of the third municipality income class in the province that compose the 37 barangays. Um, historically, the famous Morian festival is said to have originated in Mugpog. So, sinasabi po nila na um, Morian is talaga originally ay sa Mugpog nagsimula. So, one of the pioneer is uh, Mr. Buddy Liwanagan, one of the famous uh, nag, na nag-uukit uh, ng mas dito sa Marinduque. So, Mr. Buddy Paglinawan is, is fascinated in, in wood curving in, in, in his elementary days in, at Mugpog Central School where he developed and practiced his passion. At his teenage, he worked in wood curving business in Pampanga. He turned in the province, particularly here in, Marin, in Mugpog, to be part of the tradition Morionas Festival as he wear his own crafted Morion mask. Next po. Business. Uh, Naiano po nila yung naiano po nila yung business, yung wood curving business nila sa government. So, pinangalanan nila itong Milagrosa which is named after his wife which is a public school teacher, retired school teacher. So different patron saints and other wood car products as recommended by the buyers because of the quality work. So, isa siya sa pinaka... Okay na po yung... Hello po, okay na po. Ma'am, are you done with your presentation? Uh, 
I don't think they are. Okay, so good morning po. So during our interview, he mentioned that he is very much willing to train anyone from Mugpog to be able to learn and patronize wood carving. Since no other hears of wood carvers in his family members, he is afraid that the culture of Morion Mask and Morion's festival itself will be forgotten by the next generation. Creating masks requires both creativity and skills. Body draw inspiration from all the signs he remembers seeing on the state of Mugpog during previous Morion Lenten rites when he was a kid, he said. Even the former president Joseph Estrada and Restal Batista is one of his inspiration during his early age of making Morion mask. Unfortunately, he did not secure some of his original Morion mask creation during our interview. He would collect lights and soft numbers called Santol from his supplier upon the receiving orders. Santol tree and commonly found in the mountains of Barangay Danao and Mampaitan of the same town and are bought for 100 pesos each. Using small hatchets, he then cuts the timber into one-foot-long blocks <coughs> and trim them according to the customer's face, size, and neck radius. After that comes carving fine details on the mask, which Buddy said is most challenging part of his mask making. It usually takes him more than a week to cut holes for eyes, take snows, emulate wounds, cuts for customized masks, and refine other details such as chins and cheeks, as he mentioned that he practiced a lot to perfectly come up with a good and clear face painting of the mask. He usually finished carving one month before the Lenten season. Buddy shined the mask using papel de liha, pour glaze over it for a smooth finish, and paints them multiple shades of black, white, red, and brown. Days before Lent, additional mask accessories such as eyebrows and headgears are put in place with the help of his pet dog. Dog hair is used to the eyebrows of the mask. Thunder, pet, his pet dog is with him for almost three years up to this moment. So Badili Wanagan is also a recipient of Gawad Marinduque during the centennial celebration of the province of Marinduque held at Marinduque Provincial, Provincial Capital together with Senator Francis Pangilinan, a native of Buak Marinduque among other awardees. Awarded by Governor Presbytero Velasco and Congressman, now House Speaker Lord Alan Quinto Velasco. That would be all for our presentation with ITS Gutierrez. Thank you and good morning. Okay, thank you, sir, for the presentation of Marinduque Lowland Group. And now let us proceed. This will be the presentation of the third group of Quezon Province, the third district. Okay, third district. Hello, Sir Dennis. Makikis. Okay, po. Take the platform. Sir Dennis, again. Makikipost po muna yun. So this time, so let me present to you our collaborative effort of Group 3 from nine EDD students and three MAIC students of Bundok Peninsula of third district. Quezon Province, which are composed of 12 municipalities, namely Agdangan, Buenavista, Catanawan, General Luna, Macalelon, Mulanay, Padre Burgos, Pitogo, San Andres, San Francisco, San Narciso, and Unisan. And edited by Sir Frederick Brin. Okay, Sir Dennis, makikiplay na po. I want to Tuloy po kayo sa Quezon. Province of Quezon, known as the Cocolandia and Region 4A Calabar Zone. Welcome, Bundok Peninsula, third this week of Quezon. So we have Padre Burgos, Holy Cross Parish, <laughs> the Ginmanuk Festival. 
So let us proceed to Katanawan. The Immaculate Conception Church. In 1883. So we have Bullying Bullying Festival from Katanawan, Quezon. Welcome naman po sa bayan ng Agdangan, the Luminous of Grey Sanctuary, Agdangan, Quezon. At ngayon naman sa bayan ng General Luna, ang buhay na kubol. Punta naman tayo sa bayan ng Pitogo, ang San Pablo Parish Church. At ngayon naman sa bayan ng San Andres, ang pinagdiriwang nilang Pukot Festival. At siyempre makikita naman natin ang kubol ng Makalelon sa Makalelon, Quezon. At sa pagpupunta naman tayo sa bayan ng Mulanay, ang pinakamatandang simbahan ng St. Peter Church ng Mulanay, Quezon. Siyempre, ang kanilang pinagdiriwang na festival, ang tinatawag nilang Kukulanay Festival sa Mulanay, Quezon. Kapag dumiretso tayo sa bayan ng Bundok Peninsula, na ito naman ang San Narciso, Makikita natin ang simbahan nila ng St. Joseph Parish Church sa bayan ng San Narciso, Quezon. At syempre, sila rin naman ay uh, aktibo sa kanilang pagdiriwang na tinatawag nating senteryon na ipinagdiriwang tuwing mahal na araw. Isang tradisyon ng mga mamanatang San Narcisohin sa bayan ng San Narciso, Quezon. <tinyo> May maganda rin tanawin na makikita ang napinto cave at ang bagong tuklas cave. At ngayon naman ay sa San Francisco, Quezon, ang Celebes Maru Peace Sanctuary. Ang luma at ang bagong municipal building ng kanilang bayan. Thank you. 
At kabayan naman ng unisan, ang rudder from the sunken Chinese vessel na matatagpo ang mismo sa harap ng kanilang munisipyo nang minsang dumaong ang mga China o ang mga Chinese sa kanilang bayan. So this is a group 3, third district. Thank you. Never give up. Pike. Go, go, go. So ito po ang aking mga kagrupo. Nine EDD students and three MIDE students. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Sir Jay Camunyas, for the presentation of the third district of Quezon. Now, uh, before we proceed, is there any other group from Marinduque who have been skipped? If there's none, we will proceed. Sir, the... excuse me po, Eddie D. Marinduque po. Okay po, ma'am. That, that will be the last group, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, let's give way for the group of Marinduque EDD group. Thank Take you. the screen away. Good morning again. This is the collaborative output of EDD students of Marinduque State College, Upland and Lowland. Okay po. Thank you very much. Ay, yala pa sa oras. Walang comment na iba. <laughs> Yari kayo, walang nag-comment. Walang masabi, energetic daw. Pupunta daw sila doon sa districtory. Uh, is the previous group done already? Hmm. We still have about four, 4 minutes and 40 seconds. So anyway, if you're done, then we'll move to the next. Okay, thank you to the presentation of the last group of Marinduque. Now, we will proceed to the last group of presentation for today. Okay, please turn off the mic for those who are already presented their presentation. Okay, so for the last group, let us welcome the Port District of Quezon or Group yeah, Four. Yan. Yan. presentation of culture and heritage from the 10 municipality of the Port District of Quezon, Alaba, Atimoli, Calawa, Inyangan, Gumaca, Lopez, Perez, 
Claridel, Quezon, and Alcawayan, Port of Alaban, located at 25 kilometers, considered as one of the longest ports in the province. The port is surrounded with rich marine resources. It has significant support for the economic activities, since it has a crucial connection between land transport. Stone Bantai Watch Tower. It was built sometime in 1572. It was named after Francisco Tandas, who was Pandicol. He watched on top of it to alert the people because of the rampant raids of the Moro pirates in the southern parts of the zone during those times. Saint Peter Parish Church, founded in 1846, since then, a large church built one after another. The church has preserved the case it was inherited from its old bearers by the growing Catholic population and Muslim churches. The church looks differently from the original. Thousands of the school alumni regard the building as the living memorial and foundation of the early West Coast. It showcases cultural and heritage sites to students and visitors. It is now maintained by the community and other stakeholders. Bumaka Elementary School. It is a public school in Bumaka where the Belgian building is still erected. Divided into two because of its population. This school is now known as the Baka West Central School in Bumaka. It is one of the historical sites of the town. The tower was made of green coral stones and deep green. Hutan San Diego is one of the remaining structures built during Spanish era. Probably, it is being administered by the local government here. Ali Olo Internal Store. One of the main stores is this group of stations and is this local store. It shows the information for the first Labat Island Airport. It is located in Peru's Southern Sea at the Korea continent. This was made in the Bayou Julia Mansan Port in 1938. The airport became one of perfect routes in providing national assistance to the whole island. It is locally known as the parish began when a small group of Catholics migrated from Mauban and settled in Paris, Alabat Island on the first half of the century. It has been the central venue of religious activities and uh, devotional practices. It lies at the heart of the town center. Alete Park. Located at Barangay 4, Quezon, Quezon, the land where it grew is owned by Mr. Felix Estaniero and Mr. Miguel Oliveira Januari, who are both deceased. It was the site where the first Catholic church was built. Today, it was converted into a community park. Ibalon Island Lighthouse. It is located in Barangay Candalapdap, Tagkawayan, Quezon. It is said to have been built in the 1920s or 1930s. It served as a guide for fishermen in the Ragai Gulf. In Ginyangan, it is locally known as Sipadong Island. Mataas Mataas na Bato, a historic place frequented by tourists for its beauty. From a version of folk tale, Tadkawayan Quezon began in Mataas na Bato, where the Agta lived before the 1900s. This is a place where celebration takes place whenever there is a successful catch of deer or wild boar. Railroad Skates and Plavidel Quezon. Rail skates, also known as Bitula, is a form of transportation of the people of Plavidel. It amazes people when they try to ride their skates as they visit Plavidel. The evolution of rail skates becomes clear how its role has also changed in the community. Agkawayan Old Photo. It is one of the oldest existing photos taken in the municipality of Tagkawayan. 
It is a class picture of grade one to two pupils at Kabibihan Primary School. The photo date back from 1926 to 1927 under the American government. Inagta Alabat language. The Agta live in Alabat Island and in a small area in Guinean. They are one of the original Negrito settlers. Their language was included in the list of endangered languages in the world as released by the UNESCO in 2010. They have the strict language and belief systems. Pul Kabal. The Pul Kabal originated in Atimonan. The dance got its name from the two popular dances in the late 1800s, the polka and balse. It is passed on by teaching of the older dancers to new generation. It is being performed at Town Plaza and Cultural Center with colorful costume. Adyo Alimango Festival, celebrated every 25th of May as the founding anniversary and town fiesta. The event is a showcase of the people's way of life as evident in the different competition, such as street dance, cooking, and beauty pageant. This is a colorful and spectacular celebration. San Isidro Labrador Fiesta. The feast of San Isidro Labrador, patron saint of farmers, takes place every 15th of May. One of all tradition of hanging bountiful harvest in a form of bamboo chandeliers and attach it on the bamboo art. This is popularly known as Araña at Balwarte. And lastly, it hung. Yubakan Festival. The festival is celebrated on the 11th of May together with the town patronal fiesta. The triploid hybrid banana cultivar originating from the Philippines or Sabah is the main attraction. Every corner of the street at Poblacion pounded banana to turn it into yuba. And that concludes our presentation of Group 4 or the Port District of Quezon. So we have concluded the presentation of the four groups of the province of Quezon together with the three groups from the Marinduque group of presenter. And we have now we have presented the iconic spots, items, practices, and more from the different towns of Marinduque and Quezon, which are the genuine treasure and prized possession of every locality. It is truly wonderful to discover this tangible immovable, tangible movable, and intangible cultural heritages, which are a reflection of the way of life of people. Culture really enhances our, our quality of life and increases overall well-being for both individuals and communities. And with that, we will be moving on the next part of our program. My dear colleagues and guests, at this moment, after the presentation of the fruit of our labor, persistence, and hard work, it is high time to hear the words from our course professor in EDM01, Basic Foreign Language, Professor Randy T. Noblesa, Doctor of Philosophy, a virtual applause. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sir Ryan, for the kind introduction. But as I understand, there's uh, a couple more groups from Marinduque, but I'm going to deliver just a short message, just the same. And uh, we'll just go back to the remaining groups. So congratulations to the... Uh, QECI group for presenting uh, your Pecha Kucha. There are comments here and there and later we'll ask the validators to comment on the other presentation. So I have two slides here uh, that I'd like to uh, present. Can you see my presentation? Yes, Doc. Yes, uh, yes, I, I won't be presenting uh, all of this. 
So just a couple of slides that I think it's important for our purposes today. So since this is the last uh, meeting for uh, EDM01 or basic uh, foreign language, so I'll just report on the 100 uh, years of Marinduque or the Marindukanon Century of Culture and Art Studies. So I also like to congratulate other co-presenters like Mr. Rehedor, who presented this uh, topic and who got exempted in certain requirements. So let's give a round of applause for Sir Rehedor. And I'd also like to acknowledge a couple more uh, MAED students in the person of Ms. Uh, Ayla Malubag and Ms. Des uh, Santo Domingo. They are also uh, present during uh, the fifth Science and Technology Regional Conference. Congratulations to them as well. So I won't be presenting all of the slides because I already did uh, last uh, December 15, but I'd like to share this with you uh, regarding the highlights of the uh, 100 years of Marinduque. And a bit later, I'll also like to uh, share with you uh, one of the tangible outputs that we were able to come up with, along with Sir Montemayor, who is part of uh, the Buena Vista coffee table book. Some of his pictures and presentation that uh, they showed in their Pecha Kucha, I'll be presenting a bit later. So regarding the 100 years, so these are the highlights of the, of the Centennial Week in Marinduque. So from February uh, 16 to 22, there were, a lot of, there were a lot of activities. So we had an exhibit, we had a film screening, uh, some performances, and finally a float parade. And I think it was mentioned during the Pecha Kucha on uh, Morion Mask and uh, wood carving in Mugpug. So Sir Badi Liwanagan was also awarded Gawad Marindukenyo uh, last February 21. But as we are all aware, uh, pandemic uh, edition na after. So after nitong February, by March uh, 14, uh, a national health emergency was declared. But we have to proceed uh, just the same. So during the summer, uh, we don't have face-to-face -face meeting anymore, both in the undergrad and also in the graduate school. But uh, I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank my uh, graduate diploma cultural education scholars like uh, Sir Vince Madriaga and also again Mr. Uh, Montemayor, uh, for uh, coming up with this uh, webinar series that if you'd like to uh, watch some other time is already available in our official website at mscmarinduque.edu.ph. Uh, so as your proceedings would also appear, uh, the edited one, the, the revised proceedings. And we also had the cultural sensitivity training. So not only uh, we have gender and sensitivity, we also have cultural sensitivity as well. I understand for most of the DepEd participants in the in-service training, this is also an in-service training only for uh, higher education at Marinduque State College. So uh, we needed some time to catch up and this is how we, we did it. So after this, we started the, the first semester, and this happens to be our uh, semester where your uh, basic foreign language too is included. So last September 1, we opened the semester, and the first, uh, inag the, the, I mean the inaugural lecture was done by the GDCE uh, coordinator and director. Uh, Dr. Rex uh, Emmanuel Asuncion with this uh, lecture on Araling Marinduque. On September 15 to 17, we also had the uh, colloquium. Uh, September 18 and 25, we also had both uh, 
uh, Tanghal Marinduque and Sini Marinduque as part of the uh, cultural center of the Philippines uh, Kalingana Sining Subsistence Grants Program. And last September 30, we had the performance of the Siklab Society who performed last February during the Centennial uh, Program. And just last September, uh, December 2 and 3, we had the Buak Local Culture Studies Symposium, all completely done online, just like what we are doing uh, at the moment. So using the Zoom platform and the streaming service of YouTube. So moving on, I'd like to emphasize that uh, this is regarding the 100 years of Marinduque from February 21 uh, 1920 up to uh, next year by February 21, 2021 is the celebration of Marinduque's uh, centennial year. And for most of you know, who are from the Department of Education, we are concerned with uh, this threefold function of localization, indigenization, and contextualization. So both indigenization and Contextualization or different degrees of the, the same uh, goal of localization. So what is the possible outcome? The possible outcome of this is to build creative industry in culture-based economies. Just yesterday, I attended uh, an ACOPE meeting. ACOPE stands for uh, Association of Cultural Officers and Offices in the Philippines in education, in higher education institution. And they said uh, from the DepEd and from the National Commission of the Culture and the Arts, there are lots of talks about cultural uh, economies and creative industry. So let's wait for the full fruition of this by next year, by 2021. They said that they're going to start uh, a new program which would involve the different track of uh, senior high school. So from the academic to the tech book, and not only a special program for the uh, arts in Los Baños, High School for the Arts, they're going to establish vis-a-vis uh, -vis the science high school, specialized high school for, for the arts. And finally, I'd like to uh, just mention that by next year, it would be uh, Quincentennial celebration of Battle of Mactan in Cebu, and by 2022, uh, Quadricentennial uh, year of the foundation of Buak. So on that note, uh, I'd like to uh, pause and go back to the other presentation. So thank you for your kind attention. This is just to inform and to give context that uh, we are celebrating Marinduque Centennial so later on, we'll talk about uh, Quezon more and we'll hear from the uh, validators and uh, the reactors, I think from DepEd as well and from Tagkawayan. So thank you very much, uh, everybody, and we'll be back a bit later. So we'll just uh, continue with the presentation of the remaining groups. So who is the moderator of the Marinduque group? So please help introduce the remaining group so that uh, our audience would be fully informed. I think uh, Sir Ryan has already 
done its part in respect to the QECI uh, presentation and some uh, presentation from MSC. So please don't let the dogs out. Uh, how many groups uh, are there still to present, yet to present, that we are waiting? So the, the remaining flow of the program is that we're going to uh, finish the Pecha Kucha of the Upland group. Then we'll have the comments and the suggestions of our validators. So I I think we can dispense with the uh, awarding of certificate to student participant, with, but we have to appreciate our guest. Then the synthesis. Then we'll have the closing prayer, and I think uh, there's a special. Uh, is this live or all already a recording? The last part of the program. So it's already lunchtime. Can we proceed already? The QSEI group is done. So the, how many groups from MS is not yet done with their Pecha Kucha? Sir, Adok Bale po, I know one po, pero parang three Pecha Kucha slides pa po ata sila, or presentations po. So shall I continue with my other presentation so I don't have to go back uh, later while the, the three remaining groups are preparing. But please, when I am done presenting, I will proceed right away. If not, we'll uh, have the validator so that we don't keep them waiting. So hanggang alauna lang po talaga tayo. We made some prior scheduling arrangement for this. Shall I proceed with my presentation or will proceed with yours? So due courtesy to our visitors and our guests, that's the reason why I ask for guests so that we don't keep on extending. So are you already presenting? So please introduce your group and what are you trying to present? Please go ahead, Po. Every second counts.
what's wrong po with the presentation? Shall we stay or shall we go? Shall we or we shall? I hope uh, our visitors have taken their hearty breakfast kasi kung totoong event eh inalis na tayo kasi hindi naman tayo nagpa-lunch o nagpa-snacks So what is the pleasure of the, the rest the class? In fairness to the QSCI and MSC participants Hello, Sir Amante. What are we going to do with the presentation? Vocal cream, are you there? Are you ready? Ma'am Rodelas. Uh, we'll wait. Okay, thank you for your patience. I have a suggestion. Uh, I think our invited guests and our validators would only be commenting on the QSEI uh, Pecha Kucha. So shall we have their comments first if the MSC participants are not yet ready with their presentations? And just to confirm, meron bang talagang mag, -paper, mag uh, ba validate o meron po bang mag-comment sa mga taga- Marinduke. Ma'am Roda Rodelas, meron po bang magko-comment sa inyo? Sir Chavez, meron ba kayong naimbitahan? The rest of the EDD group who is tasked to do this? So, what's the final outcome? Uh, yeah. Any suggestions from the group? So if I were going to decide, I'll just wait for the proceedings and the revised version of your Pecha Kucha. So what I'm looking forward are the comments of the uh, reactors and the panelists. So na-introduce naman na po yun ating mga guests. So can we have your comments and your suggestion? Okay, let's give way. Of course, ladies first. Ma'am Rochelle Aureliana. Lingap ng sining member from the 4th District of Quezon. Dep Ed 
Quezon. Hello po. Yes, uh, ma'am. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good Am afternoon. I clear to everybody? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Proceed. Turn in, ma'am. Hello po. <laughs> so first of all, congratulations to everyone. You did all a good job. So despite of technical problems and other challenges, you all went through. So just to, to do the presentation, so you were clapping your hands, which are uh, which is sign of your success and accomplishment. So let, let me proceed to District 1 of Quezon. So ito po according dun sa pagkakapresent. So dun po sa District 1, I have two uh, words for you. So you had a very simple slide presentations and a very brief information. So kung nakita po naman natin ay uh, medyo short, pero may, marami silang mailagay na mga important details sa kanilang presentation. Though hindi po tayo medyo nakakinig ng explanation, pero the pictures did. So the second one was a group from Marinduque, Lowland which discussed about the valor at pinaglabanan ng Bonavista Marinduque. Am I right? So, his presentation was very informative and clear. So, he did it logically uh, because it, it tells a story about the main topic which was the pinaglaba, pinaglabanan battle happened in Bonavista Marinduque. So, it was good that the presenter simultaneously created and recorded uh, Presented a uh, recorded explanation and video presentation. So the next one was, ito po yata yung naputol, ano yung from uh, ADD of Marinduque na inulit kanina, tama po ba ako? Na inulit po after na District 3, hello? Huh? Yes po. Okay po. So the presentation had plenty of information. And evidences. So, kung nakita ko po dun yung mga old documents, all documents were shown. So, it is good to know that they had the researches. Very good po. At nakuha nila yung mga kahit yung mga year 19 po pong kupong evidences na ilagay po nila sa presentation. And then, the next one was from Marinduque. The one who discussed about Inang Uyang. So the main idea of your presentation was clear from the start to end. Very consistent po sila. And you have done the history telling logically. So I, li I like the elegance and the touch of the vintage of your slides and pictures presented. So the next one was the second district of Quezon. So you had a very colorful presentation. So the umpo I have seen your teamwork and division of labor in your output. So you presented almost all aspects of your areas. And then next, we have the MSC Maed Lowland, the one who discussed the Morian, the Morian mask carving. So you have also informative discussion. You also have clear topic because you only have one focus, which was the Morian mask carving. So gumawa po sila talaga ng in interviews para po uh, present nila yung kanilang mga primary references. That's good po. And then we have the the Quezon, the district 3 of Quezon. Galing po sa Bundok Peninsula. Ano po? So yung presenter po is very energetic. Alam sila sabi niya, punta kayo dito. Very accommodating. And then the visual and audio presentation was alive. So nagustuhan ko po yung, yung mga tugtog nila, yung mga soundtrack up. So, ang tawag doon, background music. So, and then, yung sa, Quezon, uh, sa Fourth Congressional District of Quezon, uh, that was, ano, that was very vintage, very elegant, sim simple presentation, pero sabi nga, rock, simple but rock. The ideas were organized. It was brief, but very informative. So, yun na po yung last, ano po, so, sa lahat po ng bilang panghuli po sa lahat po na nag-present, congratulations. Alam ko po ang hirap ng paggagawa ng inyong presentation. But you did it well.
sa lahat po nang nag, nag-organize sa inyo pong advisor, sa professor, pinin nyo maganda po ang inyong activity. Very good po. Salud po. Thank you. Thank you po. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Rochelle Aureliana, a teacher of Araling Pandipunan in the Division of Quezon. So let's hear another uh, comments or suggestion from another validator. Mr. Shuji Sasahara of Tagkawayan, Quezon. Okay, sir. Shuji Sasahara, take the spotlight. Sir, nakamute ka po. Okay po. Uh, thank you very much po for inviting me. And before anything else po, uh, congratulations po sa lahat po ng groups or teams na nag-present po ng kanila mga slides. Um, isa lang po, no? ako man po ay natuto po at marami po ako natutunan po doon sa mga slides na present. Being from the southernmost part po ng Quezon province, Uh, yung iba po na ngayon ko lang nalaman, yung mga about the saints, about mga mass making po dyan sa Marinduque, uh, marami po ako natutunan. Uh, nakakatuwa naman po at nagkakameron po na mga ganyan kong uri ng presentation po na nabibigyan po ng, <coughs> nabibigyan po ng focus po yung mga cultural aspect po ng ating lalawigan at ating mga bayan. Nakakatuwa po yung mga slides, makukulay, simple, yung iba po may background music. Uh, yun po, Nakakatuwa pong panuuri, nakakatuwa po. Happy po ako, nag, uh, naging part po ako nitong inyo pong presentation. Muli po, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Thank you po. So after hearing the comments and suggestion of our uh, guests and validators for uh, Quezon Group, sir, shall we proceed? Sir Randy, shall we proceed or... Shall we go back to the presentation of the Marinduque group? Uh, it's up to them <laughs> if they are still up to it. So I'm, I'd just like to show my thanks and my appreciation to Ma'am Aureliana and Sir Tasahara for uh, staying put and being patient. Thank you very much. So the call of the times is... Uh, virtual, remote, and uh, flexible. So we need to provide alternatives. And I think we've provided that uh, this morning until this afternoon. So I think just wanted to, to say, and my last, uh, let me just share this uh, presentation. Just to continue, uh, after this, uh, we'll proceed with the, not with the program anymore. I think uh, we've done that already. So we'll wrap things up because uh, it's already 12.41. So this is the coffee table book that I am referring to. So this is uh, the namesake of uh, Marinduque. So this is uh, Mount Malindig, a natural heritage. So the title of the coffee table book is Small Town of Great Vista. So that's why uh, the place is called Buena Vista or Good View. So spoiler alert, I'm not going to present uh, everything, just the uh, contents. So this is the table of contents. And I just wanted to show you one particular uh, picture. So this picture, can everybody see? Yes, sir. So this is the map of Marinduque. So early 16th or 17th uh, century. And connected to this, can you see how close Quezon and Marinduque is? O, oh, nandiyan yung Atimonan. So, nandiyan yung QSCI. 
So there was a time na yung Marinduque ay part ng Quezon. So while Marinduque celebrating its uh, 100 years, Quezon is already celebrating its uh, quadricentennial, its 400 establishment of its Pueblo de Tayabas. So before Lucena, it was Tayabas that's, that's included in the proceeding. So let me just... Uh, Uh, end with the idea that everything that uh, you've done, everything that you've accomplished, including the writing sheets, the flashcards, and uh, the last uh, set of deliverables, which include the uh, by group uh, submissions, yung pong pecha uh, by group po siya, hindi po siya individual. The same with the pre-cup uh, forms, by group din po siya. And the last thing that you need to submit is the proceedings. So please include in the proceeding the, the following. So first and foremost, meron po tayong cover. Meron po tayong mga logo na nakalagay doon, yung sa Quezon at sa Marinduque. Sa MSC, sa QCI. So please include that in your uh, proceedings. Isa na lang po ang magpapasa. Oh, ganito po ang mayayari. If you happen to have difficulties in submitting, uh, we can no longer accommodate your submission. Kasi po may mga nauna na nag-submit, puno na po yun atin storage. So in, in lieu of that, I'm just proposing that you submit one uh, proceeding for QSEI and one in MSE. So that's why I... I ask Mr. Uh, Gian and Mr. Uh, Mark Roy to coordinate with the respective groups of QSEI and MSC so that we can come up only with one proceeding, Pecha Kucha proceedings from Quezon featuring the 400 cultural icons and the proceedings from uh, Marinduque which feature the 100 cultural icons. So on that note, uh, everything shall be in order. So yung pong atin, hindi na po kasama yan, ano, ah, yun ibang deliverables. Only the Pecha Kucha uh, slides, the pre-cap forms, yun atin pong uh, edited na, na mga forms, yun ilalagay. And hindi na po kayo magpapasa kung hindi na po talaga uh, kasha doon sa atin storage. It's, it's the nature of our Uh, technology. So that's why I've been telling you uh, to declutter kasi wala po tayong matatapos pag uh, nag-submit tayo, puno na eh, we'll go back and forth. So to find uh, ways to move forward, eh, isang proceeding sa lang po including lahat ng present ng uh, QSEI, yun four districts and whatever Uh, MSC in behalf of Marinduque presented Upland, Lowland, EDD, MAED, and MPA. So with that, uh, I'll be uh, computing your grades and submitting it before uh, December 29. So please proceed with the next deadline, which is December 22. And the QSAI group, if you could manage to Uh, followed the deadline, it would be of great help to me kasi 29 nga po eh. Kung 27 pa po kayo magpapasa, tapos 151 uh, works I'm going to uh, mark. Eh, eh, kamusta naman po ang ating Christmas break? So with that, uh, congratulations to everybody who tried their best. And for those who were not able to, please uh, compensate with your uh, proceedings. Yung pong inyong uh, writing sheets would be 30% of your grade. Your flashcards would be 30% of the grade. So that's already 60%. So what I'm just looking for is the remainder 40%. Yung presentation yung ngayon, na stream natin, that's 20%. And the proceedings that I'll be waiting on the 22nd for the rest of you or on the 20 Second, if you'd be able to manage. So yun po yun natin talaga deadline, 22 po. Dapat po ngayon. Pero 
uh, with your efforts, eh, I think it is in order na bigyan kayo ng wanting leeway. So with that, uh, I thank you for your time and uh, let's finish the program with uh, the synthesis and the awarding of certificate. Thank you very much and umeditu minasan. Konnichiwa minasan. Okay, continuing our program will be the awarding of certificate to guest validators and student participant to be presented by Mr. Jordan A. Ligarte. Sir Jordan? Sir, ako na lang daw po mababasa. Hello po, naririnig ko ba? Go ahead po. Opo. Marindoka State College School of Graduate Education and Professional Studies certification, Certificate of Recognition is given to Rochelle and Aureliana for sharing time, expertise, and involvement as one of the validators during the virtual activity in EDMO1 Foreign Language in Nihongo Nipongo entitled Marinduque Quezon Petsakucha Presentation held on December 20, 2020, given this 20th day of December 2020 via Zoom meeting signed by Randy T. Nobleza, course professor. Thank you very much. Next. And for Sir Soji, Merinduque State College School of Graduate Education and Professional Studies. Certificate of recognition is given to Soji R. Sasahara for sharing time, expertise, and involvement as one of the validators during the virtual activity in EDM01 Foreign Language in Nihongo Nipongo entitled Maranduque Quezon Petsakucha presentation held on December 20, 2020. Given this 20th day of 2020 via meeting Zoom. Signed by Dr. Randy T. Nobleza, course professor. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank So please have the citizens closing prayer and we'll end this uh, Zoom meeting and the live streaming. So after presenting the certificate to our guest and validator, nearing at the end of our program, the recapitulation in a brief and concise words of what was happened and learned will be delivered to us by Mr. Ferdinand R. Pineda. Sir Perdi. Sir Ferdinand, oh, okay. Hi, good afternoon to all of us. This is a significant summary and synthesis of the Chakucha presentation to all of us. Uh, before that, I will start with someone saying, and I learned that, deliver specific information in public skills and transferring knowledge, but if the presenter has not developed good communication skills, to show for presentation so far, it would exceed the time limit. Crowding the slides with matter for the discussion critical thinking and decision making. Every group made a pecha kocha, Japanese word that means char charter or chit chat. It's a form of PowerPoint presentation with, wherein 20 PowerPoint slides with image and brief descriptions are displayed by each group with duration of 20 seconds. The presenters no need to report to they, they explain every briefly the at the completion, they were oriented about the Chakocha presentation. 
the classes from Maet to QEC was divided into two groups, Quezon Province 2 and Quezon Province 4, at the same as the Maed MSC with two groups from Marindoki Lowland and Marindoki Upland. The EDD QEC also divided into two groups from Quezon Province 1 and Quezon Province 3. But the five students from Maed was listed to EDD group. In overall, it was six groups presenter from Maed and EDD from QEC and MSC. Before the presentation started, the assigned leader introduced the group. The first group presentation assigned in Quezon Province District 1, consisting of 13 towns such as Tayabaset City, Bordeos, General Nakar, Impanta, Umalig, Lokban, Mauban, Pagbilaw, Panukulan, Patnanungan, and more. At the beginning, it produced the historical background of each towns by the presenter to get points passed of the viewer. They focus on the discussion on the tourism, destination, landmark, Eminent beauty. The second presentation was Marindoki Lowland. They present the historical backgrounds of each towns. He tells people how they change the life of Marindoki. And the second presentation, like the third presentation, consisting of six towns, such as Lucena City, Candelaria, Dolores, San Antonio, Sariaya, and Chao. Quezon Province, consisting of 12 towns such as Agdangan, Buena Vista, Catanawan, General Luna, Macalelon, Mulanay, Padre Burgos, Pitugo, San Andres, San Francisco, San Narciso, and Unisan. At the beginning, it introduced the historical background of each towns by the presenter. They lively presents the Pichapocha. And the last is province of District 4, consisting of 12 towns such as Agdangan, Buena Vista, Kadanawan, General Luna, Macalelon, Mulanay, Bordeos, Ketugo, San Andres, San Francisco, San Narciso, and Luz. They present the historical backgrounds of each towns and By the presenter to get points pass of the viewer. In overall, the presentation was successfully done. Omedeto, congrats for everyone. Thank you, po. Thank you, sir, for the. Okay, thank you, po, sir Ferdinand Arpineda. And once again, let us seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and may all be blessed. May all be blessed with the closing prayer to be led by Mr. Gian Paolo N. Lagos. Sir Gian. Okay po. Amici, pa-play na po ng video. So, itungo po natin ang ating amang ulo para po damhin ang presensya ng Diyos para sa ating closing prayer. Mamichi. Okay po. So, dumaretso na po tayo sa closing prayer. Um, maraming salamat, Ama. Where there seems to be no way, he works. 
Okay, please remain standing for the nationalistic song to be played by Miss Michi A. Valdez. Oh, yeah. 
And that concluded our program today. Mabuhay ang kultura ng Marinduque. Mabuhay ang kultura ng Quezon. Domo arigato gusay masta. I'm Ryan Villamiel, your Master of Ceremony, signing off. Uh, may I request uh, everybody to turn on your uh, video if your interconnection, uh, interconnectivity allows you. And may I request the task group for the documentation to please uh, take screenshots of the uh, of the group. So if you could rename MSC or QSEI or in the end, it doesn't matter anymore. So just for documentation sake. So wala tayong party, kaya ito na lang pa Christmas natin sa mga kagrupo natin and, and five minutes after one. So sino po ang nagtitake ng picture from MSC? So please do so. At sa uh, may speak po. Yes po, yes po. Um, ako po ang nakas, kami po ang nakas sa documentation. Okay. Okay po. Uh, okay. Bibilang na lang po ako to take up photos. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Limang page po tayo ha. Kaya hindi nyo alam kung nalipasan na kayo. Uh, Mag-back up po tayo ha. Yung taga MSC naman na group. Mag-picture din po kayo. Okay, one more shot po. Okay, one, two, three. Okay na po. Thank you po. Uh, kompleto na ba? MSC, meron kayo? Baka wala na naman ha. Uh, thank you sir for Pineda. So from QSCI. Thank you sir. One, two, three. Thank you, thank you po sir. Sino po mo po na? Bye-bye. Sige, kung tapos na, kumuha, edi tapos. So, next semester, advanced foreign language. Nakikita ko kayo tatlo dyan. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas! Hello po! Thank you po! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Pagdala na lang kayo na ang virtual na lahat. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Isang, kaya pala mahina signal lang Thank you sir Randy Nagagawan daw yung signal Yung proceedings Meron na Service na lang Tsaka si Mr. Montemayor Ang nagpapasa sa akin ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไ
Yeah. Awan ko nga kung ang sunflakes na. Malangnig kayo. The last one po. Oh, last. Waki, waki, waki. Waki daw po. Okay, one, two, three. Thank you very much po. Okay na po. Okay, salamat po, Sir Vince. Paki-stop na po ng, ano, ng streaming at ng recording. Thank you po. Happy lunch po sa lahat. Happy lunch po sa lahat.